Alrighty then, welcome back. I want to point out that when you when you reboot or whatever reload, all the spawns will respawn. So especially if you're at night, remember everything's spawning around you. Sometimes it's cool, it's safe, there was nothing there. But sometimes you got bears and wolves, so that's why I wanted that. That's why I had to record now instead of waited until I loaded all the way up. Hopefully an example of what I'm talking about will occur. It doesn't always occur, but it occurs enough to be considering it. Today, we're going to start POIs. I want you to take a note of two things. You may not notice it, okay? I'm just going to, I'm going to point it out. As we're going through these POIs, everything around them, not everything, but a good portion of the, surround, the land surrounding most of these POIs that we're going to be going through is nice and clear and open. That's because we targeted the trees that block our vision when we were collecting lumber. Uh, You'll, you, you notice that if you didn't do it, you're constantly being blinded here and there, and, and things are just more dangerous. And two, you know, if you've already played the game a little bit, compare the type of loot that I'm getting to what you've been getting. Uh, because of, you know, the, lucky, the combination of the Lucky Looter's glasses and the Lucky Looter uh, perks and the higher game stage, okay? By focusing on level grinding. I did go back and finally look at my videos and those couple of times that I screwed up and let the video go over, it didn't mess us up. We didn't, we didn't, uh, I didn't record making those cement mixtures, so I hope I didn't confuse anybody with that. All it is is, you know, you go here and you click cement mixer, you know, and just like any other thing, you just put the parts in there, okay? And then I threw them up over here and then I made those glass jars. Uh, could have been a better video. I'm sorry, it's not the greatest. All right, before I logged out, I went ahead and pulled this to remind me. I'm going to go ahead and get some more bullets going right here. Seven, six, twos. Oh, so now we're out of, we're out of uh, gunpowder. We still got a good bit of lead left. A little bit of brass. All right, but we already got what? 600. 750. So we got a thousand bullets. Okay, so we're, we're good on bullets now. I wanted to show you about the sand. Okay, this is sand I looted, you know, shoveling. But you can also make sand. Okay, and sand is one of the ingredients you need to make concrete mix. So you're going to turn stone into sand. Okay, you're also going to come over to the, the forges. And you're going to put stone and you're going to melt them in here. And then once you've got stone melted in here, you're going to create cement. Okay. So you need stone in the forge to make cement. And then you need stone in the cement mixer to make sand. And then you need stone plus cement plus sand to make the concrete mix. And the concrete mix will then be turned into wet concrete blocks. Okay. Or, you can take the concrete mix, and you can upgrade cobblestone to concrete. Okay? So, as you can see, it's three times more stone, because you got to make the sand out of stone, you got to make the cement out of stone, and then you got to use stone on top of it. So, that's basically what it's saying is three piles of stone. Alright? So, it's going to take a lot of stone to make uh, concrete blocks with. That's what I'm saying. It takes, it takes a while to get up all the stone. But... Mining up your nitrate and your coal and your lead, you know, you get stone when you do that. Okay? So, what I do now is, you know, I will uh, make some sand up. I'm going to make a thousand. I'm going to make uh, 451. And I'll make a thousand, a stack of a thousand right here. It doesn't take long to make some, uh, sand, it does take a while to make concrete. And then over here, we're going to make a thousand. Right. Uh, and that'll be, you know, 2,000 sand. That's not enough for me. So I'll make another 1,000. Okay. And then I'm going to make another 1,000 here. So I should have 4,000 sand set here when I come back. Okay. 
that's just one part of my concrete block, my concrete mix. That's one of three. Okay, so we just kind of slowly make that in the background, all right? Uh, because I want to get another couple of levels really quick. Uh, because I decided I want to go with, um, here we go. Fatty McGee. Because I modded it, unloaded it. Off my wall. See, because I, re I reset the game, you understand? And suddenly all these things spawn around you. That's what I wanted you to see some reloading. Puts all the spawns around you again. Anybody else? Alright. See the trees out there? See how they're bigger now? Those two right there are probably the last two I planned and they haven't caught up yet. But you see how they're much taller now? Now they're going to be like 600. Uh, block strength, you'll get more wood from them. And they'll get bigger, and then they'll get giant. They, at four days, it takes four days, okay? To get them maxed out. But you can harvest them at any point in time, you just get more wood. If you harvest them later. When they're fully grown, okay? I decided I want to go ahead and get my yucca drinks. So I have the farm ready for it. So I want to get them before I do anything else. Level wise. And then I'm going to kind of focus on my character. My uh, police style stuff. Okay. So this is not going to be ready until what? Tomorrow? Yeah. Alright. We still have plenty of food. Alright. We're not even worried now. That's it. We are, we are good to go. Alright. So... First thing I want to do is clear the things that are the closest. You know, there's a traitor. So we're going to start clearing all these out. And like I say, it sucks because they got the green on them. Those are all blown up pieces of shit buildings. So they don't have the greatest of loot. But let's go ahead and clear them out. Stick with the plan. Sluggishness. I don't know why I got a fresh restoo starting this now. So I want to point out weapons and stuff now, okay? Like I say, it's all about maneuverability and stamina. And range, okay? Because there's no blocking. There's no disarming. Okay, but... So, you know, knowing that, really, it's just a matter of getting those ranges down, okay? Once those ranges are down, any weapon is just as good as any other weapon. I mean... It's not even a weapon I'm using. It's a stone axe. Alright. So it's more about the mods and what they're doing. And knowing your different ranges and stuff. Uh oh. Like these guys, it's really good to hit these guys with your spear. It's long range, it's easy to hit on the ground. Other weapons, not so easy to hit them when they're on the ground. Close to them. So that's how these little crawlers can get you. Spear is the, is the best weapon to use against these guys. They're easy to kill, but... So, everything, every weapon has a power attack. Of course, the tool is not a weapon. Okay. Power attacks use a lot of stamina. So what's great about the axe, okay, is it, it uses hardly any stamina at all. Alright. So it's a nice short range weapon, actually, if you mod it properly. Like I say, I, I mod it with a fire from the fire dot. It's very low damage, okay, but it's very fast. All right, it swings very fast. All right, this is a uh, scrap polymers. Now, at first, I'm going to loot everything I see because I want to build up my reserves of all the things in the game, okay, all the basic resources to craft with. Alright, so I'll be destroying every garbage bag I come across, that kind of thing. 
All right, and once I get a, a, a couple of hundred plastic, a couple of hundred cloth, a couple of hundred leather, and I've got stuff to build with, then I'll just focus specifically on loot containers. Okay, but like right now, iron, plastic, okay, paper. I want to build that stuff up. And I'll show you what all that stuff builds. Now there's a bo boar. Excuse me, there's a boar right there. Alright. That's me. Now like I say, a boar is a prey animal. But he will attack if you attack him. And he's got a lot of hit points. Ain't no bullshit. He might kill me now. He hit pretty hard. Alright, so I don't really want to waste bullets. The thing about bullets is... If you shoot them after they die, it takes away their, like, corpse's life bar. And so you'll harvest less meat. So be careful when you start shooting, a, like, an animal like this. Because uh, if you just hold the button down and get four or five bullets to hit him, after you've killed him, he's not even going to drop but two or three pieces of meat. Okay, so you want to make sure you, you don't shoot them after they're already dead. Safes are not a problem for us. <coughs> so anyway, what's great about the stone axe is it uses very, very little stamina. That's a Christmas item, still out. So that's an upgrade to the... If I think... If I remember right, can't... Oh, that's a club, candy cane club. Alright. Whatever. Christmas item. It is February, fellas. Uh, we want to keep handgun parts because handgun parts are kind of rare, and they're the component that you need to make your SMG turrets with. So you want to, I kind of store those as time goes by, because, uh, you know, depending on how many you want. Like, my main guy, my real character, has 26 machine gun turrets around his base right now. Uh, that was like, you know, 150 handgun parts to do that with. And it took me the scope of 150 days to, to store them up. So, you know, I'm not just looting this trash. I'm also, bottom right corner, looting the paper and plastic that the trash bag is, all right? Because I want to get that stuff up. And like I say, once I get those resources up, uh, I'll just loot in the, uh, you know, uh, actual loot containers. I'll, I'll just focus on those. So the axe doesn't have a power attack, and it hits very, very little damage, all right? But like I say, it's really fast, and it doesn't use any stamina. I mean, a tiny bit of stamina. So what's nice about the axe is, let's say you're using a stomaton or whatever, okay? And you run yourself out of stamina, all right? You real quick switch to your axe and get a couple blows in. And believe it or not, more often than not, okay, those couple of blows will finish the zombie off. So you can find yourself in a corner, okay, getting hit, not about to die, and, and all you needed was like just one last hit. But you don't have any more stamina to deal that one last hit. So you switch your axe real quick, and it does do some damage. It's, 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 it's worth hitting. Uh, it's, I have my, had my life saved so many times by switching to my axe. It's not even funny. All right. Now I'm going to get hit a lot more than I normally do these first day or two while I play around with these different weapons, alright? Show you different things. Which is fine, because a noob would get hit a lot too, experimenting and learning. Alright? Uh, and I want to show, you know, that if you have a good stack of... If you have a good stack of medical, you can practice. You have time to practice. You're not worried about constantly dying. That's part of the strategy here was to gather medical and be able to to grow medical, you know, uh, infinitely if you want. frame loss already. I just started the damn game. It's not bad, but it's there. I feel it.
fantastic. These old broken up buildings, there's hardly anything in them, it's just a lot of climbing around and shit. To get like one or two loot containers. Which is why you keep frames on you. They're like your ladders and stuff. All that climbing to get a bag of garbage that was empty. I went on up there, right? So it's just to, you know, break your arm, break your legs up kind of thing. You know, fall, break your leg. That's all this POI is. Maybe there's something underground. Maybe there's a door or something down there I overlooked that goes to an underground labyrinth or something. Although I don't see where that would be. Again, the fire is done. There's a certain kind of damage that triggers their rage, okay? The fire is one of them. When they rage, they start running. If you notice what's great about this axe, if you pop them in their head, it kind of like stuns them and knocks them back. So it's actually pretty decent. See what I mean? It kind of stuns them for a second. And you're not using any stamina to eat. I mean, you're using a little bit, but your regen is way faster. So you don't even notice it. I mean, you can swing this axe indefinitely. Especially once we pick one more level of, in, of sexual Tyrannosaurus. You can swing the axe non-stop and never run out of stamina. So it's actually kind of worthy. Okay. Like I say, I'm playing on insane here. So these zombies have a lot of hit points. So if you can do it on this uh, setting, you can most definitely do it on like the normal settings. You know what I mean? It would be even more useful. Shit, it's random zombies. That's just a stone axe, man. That's a tool, it's not even a weapon, it doesn't even have a power attack. <laughs> oh, that's right, I camped out here one night, didn't I? I'm trying to remember. So, I wanted to show that you can actually fight with this thing. It actually is combat effective, okay? So, I'm not so you know, thinking to yourself, why does it keep toggling to the fucking X? Okay? It it's actually can kill pretty effectively, okay? And the fact that it uses no stamina, you know, versus its stamina regen, makes it worthy, alright? That being said, I like to put the Burning Shaft mod in it to get that Fire Dot. Okay? The fire Dot is useful. Why am I getting Christmas shit? Whatever. So that that uh, burning shaft mod now turns my axe. It's really now an all-purpose utility. Item, okay, I'm using it to bust through doors, to break blocks up. Okay, to and I'm using it as a weapon. Whoops. And I'm using it as a torch. Alright. I'm using it to inflict damage over time dots. Okay, on the enemy. It's a really useful all purpose utility tool.
happy POIs. We'll get cleared. We'll, we'll get to them here pretty quickly. Not much to these burnt up, these blown up buildings. Sometimes there's some of them kind of got some nice hidden little dungeons in them. Like underground dungeons or whatnot. Hmm, curious. Let's do that really fast. Yeah, it's nothing. I'm just I was curious for a second there. Yeah, same thing. It's just collapsed. I have found stuff behind things like that, though. This is where Rule 1 Cardio comes in handy. When you're running around like that. Then you run into something to fight, and you're out of stamina. You're running around looking. See, this is, this is where I kind of get... I wish I had one more bar. One more spot on my bar. Because I would like to have my shovel just to grab this up. I got a couple hundred stone right there. You know? Uh, and I do need lots and lots and lots of stuff. So you're noticing how when I do loot an item, you know, I'm really looting a lot of items in these crappy POIs right here. But, uh... Notice that when I do loot it, it's like quality six. And that's coming from the lucky looter. Okay. I want to, uh, I'm not liking not having my shovel on me. It's bugging me. I don't know what I want to toss here. I wanted to show, have the shotgun and the machine gun together. I'm just trying to show different styles, different effectiveness without, but it's too many. Different, uh, combinations of items and how you can use them. I usually wind up it's still Molotov. I use the least stuff because you don't always run into bunches of Zeds all at once. But when you do, you're kind of like saying, damn, I wish I had my Molotov on me. Problem with that is it's eating up an inventory space. When you keep them up here like this, you know, there's another inventory space you're losing. Still waiting on that. I want to. I want to get them all in the same timer and reset the farm. Are these ready over here? I don't think so. Oh. All right, let's do that real quick then. I'm going to... I didn't realize it was ready. Yeah, in the morning, yep, 7.45. All right. Let's fix that right quick. Might as well. Go through this loot that I just looted before I do it. Not better than what I have. I say these parts, you use them. So if you get the recipe that says you can make machetes, you need these parts. Okay, you loot them, okay? Now I'm going to get lots of them because of my loot, my, <coughs> my, my, uh, lucky looter and lucky looter glasses, okay? And, uh, my game stage is higher than most would be right about here, okay? But normally you don't get a whole lot of these. Okay? They're kind of rare earlier on. And uh, it's frustrating when you're trying to. You're thinking, oh, I'm going to I'm gonna pick this skill here because it says I can make, you know, unlocks hunting knife crafting. Well, yeah, you can craft the hunting knife, but you need the hunting knife parts. And that you might not find for a while. So just keep that in mind when you perk it up weapons. That's why I don't perk up weapons early, thinking I'm going to craft something. Because uh, it, it could be a very long time.
before you find those those parts. Okay, now I'm gonna find lots of them because of the strategy I used. I I, I didn't even start looting, you know what I mean? Until until uh, so late in the game, so late, so much later than when I started the game. You know, I'm, I'm day 11 right now. Scrap that. I always scrap magnum rounds into bullets, into um, brass. Now what is this? Kill some bears. Now see, that's useful. Uh, like if I'm going to go hunting in the snow for meat, I'll bring that with me. Because that means I'm going to be killing bears. So I'll use that and I'll get a little added effect. You know what I mean? A little added... Uh, uh, experience. My bone keeps sticking. All right. Now let's deal with this right here. I just need one more rotting flesh, really. So I'm going to get the mushroom and the seed. Because I'm going to move. Whoops. Destroying my base. I'm going to move the mushrooms outside. They can be in here. I wanted to show you it. But I don't, I don't need them in here. We just had one more rotting flesh. We could fill that last gap in right there. It's annoying the shit out of me. Where can I get one rotting flesh at real quick? Wow, that's the time. That's just, I gotta finish that. That's just, that's like a un, unfinished business. in every street already. Hopefully I missed one. I just have one real quick. Seriously, help me out here. Just come on. Just give me one roadkill that I overlooked. Oh, we're about to be out of gas. Oh, there's one right there. Beautiful. Space bars are sticking. Alright, farm. 
plot. I gotta do it. We need some gas. Alright, I'm gonna take 5,000. <coughs> and I'm going to refuel my bike. And then I'm going to put the 1,000, 4,000 spare gas in the tank here. Oh, look, I forgot about that stuff. Spare gas can in the trunk, kind of thing. All right. I gotta put that stuff away. I missed that. Six. All right. It's more than enough. I don't really care about farm plots anymore. Okay, I, I can get more, but it's like it just becomes overkill. Okay, I can keep making them. farm is really bigger than I needed to be at this point. I, mean, I used to go haywire with the farm. I had, my main guy has six farms. Each one is 100 plots. <laughs> 600 farm plots. So I have 100 potato plants planted. 100 corn, 100 aloe vera, 100 zucca, 100 blueberries, all planted. And it's just setting out there in the field. I mean, I have like five chests. I have a whole, fl my tower on my main base goes all the way up here, okay? It's like 15 stories high. And I might have a whole floor dedicated to <coughs> just food. You know, it's ridiculous. So, you don't need to do all that, alright? Why do I only have five? Oh, because I turned them in. Alright, well, I guess they, I, was, I need to get this fixed right now, so I'm going to go and take care of this. I know it's a little, now I'm running back and forth doing this. But i got to get this fixed real quick. Alright, so corn, I want three more seeds. That'll give me ten corn seeds, ten mushroom seeds. Okay. And, uh, one of these potato seeds I'm just gonna put away. So ten, ten, let's see, ten, 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 ten. Alright, so we're good on all of this then. Yuccas, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna get ten of those yucca seeds. Alright, and then blueberries, I'm gonna get ten of those. Okay, actually, I probably could use ten more farm plots if I wanna go ten, ten, ten. You see what I mean? Did 
I have 50 and I could use 60. However, aloe vera, as we already have a stack of aloe vera setting in here. That's uh, 25 healing bandages. All right. So aloe vera, we can just set up here for now. We, we, we're good on aloe vera. All right. So now this is what we're ahead on. So actually, we could make another whole stack or and a half of food right now. So we're already now to the point where we have infinite food. You understand? I never have to worry about food again. I don't have to care about anything. I loot for food. I don't have to ever buy any from the vendor. Every day now, I mean, I've got, I've got more food than I need already. Okay? And this is why I'm saying I want to make my Zuck Juice smoothies too. Because I'm ready to make them too. Alright, so 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Alright? That's going to be a stack of this every day. Right here. and Or a stack of this. I don't even need the corn. Anyway. Alright. Actually, I could probably just use the aloe vera. And just keep on building heels. And I can go crazy now and just get hit all I want. And I'm going to be completely reckless. Reckless abandoned. Because I'll have so many healing. I'll have 10 healing bandages a day. And I've already got 20 plus what's in here. 30, 30 of them ahead. So I can be completely reckless. I can just carry healing bandages with me. And hope don't even give a shit if I get hit. I just can just keep healing and keep healing and keep healing. Okay. All right. So ten o'clock. So, mushrooms. I'm just putting them all together. Like I said, I can put the mushrooms on the ground if I want. You go ahead and grow corn here as well, and that would be 60. Uh, but I don't need the corn for any reason. Unless I fail to get meat. Then I would need corn for vegetable stew. As long as I have meat. I don't need corn. All I need is mushrooms, potatoes, and meat. And that's my steak and potato meal. And then blueberries. And yucca is my zucca juice smoothie. Like I said, we're going to get less yucca juice smoothies. Then we're going to get uh, steak and potato meals. Because it takes four ingredients to make those instead of two. Alright. God, I miscounted that 56. So I might as well plant the corn too then. Fuck it. We'll have a little bit of corn in the background. In case we have a, a dry run on hunting, we forget to hunt or something. We'll, uh... We'll have some corn stacked up in the corner that we can eat. But, I mean, there's just no chance. I mean, the chance of me running out of food now is just almost in, 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 impossible. Just because we have 56 farm plots instead of 50. So you understand? You could have planted the tin... 10 mushrooms on the ground here. And then you could plant 10 corn in place of the 10 mushrooms. And then you could plant uh, 10 aloe vera here as well. If you had 50, but we have 56. So we have extra. Alright. That's it. Food and medicine is now infinite just a matter of whether or not you're going to carry it and this is where the bike's going to come in okay this is what i suggest you do 
This is also why I wanted to max out my own inventory, my character's inventory. Okay, because when you're out and abroad doing shit, you never know when you want something. When you when you you're too reckless and you get busted up. So it's nice to carry with you some backups. Okay. Uh, So what I'll use the bike for, all right, is I'll carry some backups. Okay. I don't need that anymore. Some backup medicine and some backup bullets, in case I've wandered too far or whatever. I have to come all the way back to base. And I'll keep it in my bike. Back up heels. In case I'm reckless. In case I break my leg. In case I catch a fatigue. And I'll get my uh, uh, sewing kits in case I get a laceration. So I don't have to come all the way back to base if I get hit with something. You see? And then some bullets in case I get. In case I run into a couple zombie bears and run myself out of bullets. I'll have some backups to grab and reload my gun with. And gas, of course. For your, if you don't, so you don't run out of gas. All right. So now I'm loaded up. The farm is fast, and we have infinite food, water, and heals. All right. Now, so now what we do is I just kind of go out to a cluster of POIs. See, right now they're all close. Okay, but I mean, eventually I'm going to be, you know, driving out here. I'm not going to want to keep going back and forth, back and forth. So really what I want, what I want soon is my truck. Okay. The mini, damn it. Wrong button. The mini bike is, is nice. Okay. But the truck is the best. Because the truck's inventory is, is twice as big as this. Okay. And so what you can do is you just drive your truck out. And your truck is now your base. And you just hit all those POIs right there. And load your truck up and then you drive home and drive out here and you hit all those POIs up and then you drive home and drive out here and then you hit all those POIs up and then drive home and then you're done with that whole town and now you're going to drive out here see what I mean the mini bike is helpful because it does have some okay it does have some all right that's that's, de that's decent but like I say the truck is three of those okay it's like that big all right but the truck it's a substantial investment because the truck you need to have Grease Monkey four, which requires an intelligence of eight. Yeah, I understand that's that's going to be because you get it costs more points as you get higher up. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine more levels. If, if I put all of my points for the next nine levels to get the truck, now eventually I don't mind doing that. Because that's also opened my intelligence up for my sun baton, which is my favorite weapon. I'm a I'm an intelligence guy, and it, it'll open up my advanced engineering so I can get my shotgun turrets, electric fences, SMG turrets, and all of that. But I don't need that now. That's kind of like mid game. Okay, early game. I'm going to focus on, you know, making my character more combat effective. We'll talk about that on the next. Uh, uh, bunch of levels that we get. Right now we got to finish our uh, food. We need to get our short order cook. And by doing that we need to strength of five. That also opens up our strength for more sex trans source and when we get ready to go back to mining and max our mining out, it'll have opened that up as well. Alright. So let's do some POIs. Let's do this stupid one here first. Alright, so I showed you the the axe. The club is like the axe. Okay, it's same short range. Okay. It swings slower. And uses up a lot more stamina. Okay. So once you've got that range now, it's the same as the axe. 
does a lot more damage. Okay, but it eats that stamina up. So when you got a bunch of zombies on you, or the stronger zombies, okay, you, you run your stamina bar down really, really fast. Especially if you start running, okay, in, in conjunction with using the, the, the club, okay? And again, any close range weapon like the club, the sledgehammer, the axe, is going to make you more susceptible to being hit. Okay, because you're close enough now for them to hit you. So again, at first, I would suggest you go with the spear because the range will help you avoid being hit. Okay, after that, you know, once you've mastered the zombies and their ranges, then, then kind of mess around with whatever weapon you want. That the weapon that interests you for your particular playstyle. But learn the zombies first by using the spear. Because the range will help you, you know, take less damage. Now the club is an upgrade to the axe. Okay, that's why it takes more stamina. Because the club... Was that a... Yeah. I'm losing my mind here. Thought I saw that. Um, the club uses a lot more stamina. It does more damage, and uses more stamina. Um, and has a power attack, which uses a lot of stamina. The club has a knockdown effect on it. The power attack. And I think the upgrade to the club is the baseball bat. You know, and then of course there's all the perks and stuff, and you can read over the perks and what they do for the club. And mods, and come up with your own, you know. If you like the club, you know, your own combination of mods. And the perk bonuses and the book bonuses. All the weapons have the perks. Okay. So if we look at the club, Pummel Pete, you know, you've got what the, what the perks are going to do to it. You've got whatever combination of of uh, of mods. And remember, when it's quality six, it'll have it'll have six slots instead of three. So your combination of mods plus. Uh, your perks, and then also every weapon has a book associated with it. Batter up is for the for the club. And that's the stuff you find is treasure. So look over the mods, uh, look over the perks, what they give it, and look over what the books give it. And that's how you can determine mm, that's the kind of weapon I wanna I wanna play with. Okay. And if you don't know what the mods are, you can just go right here and type mods. And the lock means you don't know that recipe, but they're all listed here. All the different mods. Okay. Like, uh... I think that right there. That's a mod that's really good for the club. And it tells you what it does. 10% chance of knockdowns. Okay. You kind of design the weapon that you want. And I'm telling you now... That's how you make your your you know your your DPS. It's going to be the mods and the perks and the books. See? Well, I shouldn't put the club on my bar. I need my my axe. Now these things here are kind of worthless. All that is is grass. Okay, use your shovel and they're gone. One hit. Anything else, you're banging on them forever. This is just a POI designed to get me to break my limbs. There's nothing here but long distance falls. Like I say, the game, the devs have developed it to break your mobility, by the way. I was telling you those dots are stones. I, I misspoke. They're not little stones, they're trees. Those are trees. See, and that's my tree farm right there. All the trees I planted. Alright, that's that one. Now let's go here to this one. Like I say, I want this plastic. I want to build my character up. And I want to clear anything that breaks my path. So I'm still keeping that same thought process of clear everything that keeps my mobility free 
also I'm gathering my resources. Okay, I'm gathering different kind of resources. I'm not really gathering uh, trees and stone and stuff like that. What I'm gathering now is is uh, all the stuff, all the all the inventory stuff. Okay, shit like this is when you get stuck on a dog. Okay, I need iron. This thing gives me iron. No big deal. Right? I can always use eggs and make food with them. Feather sell for money. This is not gonna bother me, okay? But you kinda learn over time what it is that blocks you up, messes you up, okay? Like this. This messes me up. See, I can't, don't always hit this just right to jump over. See, it stop me cold. And that's when I'm fighting something. Two bears and six dogs. And I back into this thing. And I get jammed up and I die. So you kinda learn what it is that blocks your path. So pay attention to what it is that I'm just randomly for, you know, you think it's no reason, but there is a reason. Okay, when I start just blowing shit like this, when I start breaking shit like this up, I'm breaking it up because I know it's something that blocks my path. Okay. And I need those resources. Okay. So I just want to point that out. So you know what it is I'm doing here. Now, this is paper. Paper and plastic. Alright, I need plastic to make a lot of things with when we reach the, the crafting shit, okay? And also paper, but the main thing that I want paper with, paper for is to make shotgun shells. Okay? Now there's a POI called the Paper Factory where you get like, like 5,000 paper in two minutes. Big giant rolls of paper, but until you find that, so once you find that, you're good on shotgun shells pretty much for the rest of the game. But if you may not even have that POI on your map. POIs are random and they don't all spawn on every random map. So, until you find that, if you find it, make sure you're gathering up some paper if you're interested in shotgun shells. Okay. And I get these times because I want the plastic. And any tree around the POI, I'll knock down the paper. Like I say, this right here is blocking my pathing. Okay. And some POIs have a lot, and some POIs have nothing. So sometimes I'll spend a lot of time on a POI knocking shit down because it's just one of those POIs that has a lot of them around it. and then other POIs I won't have anything to knock down okay and so that again goes back to these green fucking houses okay with this green shit these are the ones that are filled with all this crap that gets you in your way okay like I say you know it may it may be 14 days from now you know that I've run into right here I'm on my way back from something and I've ran into right here uh uh a, a herd full of feral, irradiated zombies that are chasing me, and I may be like, oh shit, you know, and I might have to come around the corner or something, maybe I got injured from a bird or something, and then I run into that fucking sign, and I get jammed up, and then boom, I'm dead, okay, so I'm thinking about the future, not just right now, alright, so that's what I'm doing when you see me, what appears to be just randomly hitting shit, these things here are designed to keep you from building on top of them, they're blocks, okay? So if I'm thinking I might drop something, if I'm thinking there may be a reason for me to drop a block there, like this, I'll, I'll destroy that shit on the ground as well. You know, for that same reason, I may take this board out right here. Okay? So that's what I'm doing, alright? When you see me just hitting random shit. I'm not just randomly hitting it. Everything I'm doing, I'm doing for a reason, and that's a reason that I've learned in the game. Like, for instance, I may... Obviously, this is designed for me to be fucking falling around. Okay? So I may just, you know, for, for some seemingly no reason at all, start laying blocks down. You're like, why the fuck do you put blocks there? Well, remember, I've been playing the game for like a thousand hours. Uh, probably 1,500 by now. And a lot of these POIs I recognize. I don't know them all. I don't, by any means. But I do recognize things. And, uh... Uh, I may have remembered, oh yeah, that's where the floor is going to fall in. And that's why I'm putting something there, okay? You can catch on fire. You're standing in these things for too long, you hit them just right, they'll catch you on fire. See, there it is. Okay? So that's why you may see me destroy that.
See, I know. I know the way these devs think with what they do now. You see? The way they try to break your limbs and get you to do things. Fall into fire. Zombies falling from the floor above you. Floor breaking out from underneath you and you're falling into a trap. That's that's how their traps are. They'll have the floor break. You'll see a hole in the ground. Okay, and you'll think, oh, it's just a hole right there. And then uh, you'll go upstairs and then the floor will break. And the floor will break right where that hole is at. And so you won't just fall through the floor to the next story. You'll fall two floors down. Now that's enough to break your leg, right? And not only did you break your leg, but you fell two stories now, but you fell in shallow water. In shallow water, the reason it's shallow is so you hit the ground and break your leg, but it's still water. And because it's water, it slows your run speed down to like 10%. You can barely move. Well, you already can move like this because you're broken leg. But now you're in water, so you move like this. Broken leg in water. Okay, and guess what? When you fell through the roof, and then through that hole in the ground, and I broke your leg down in that pool of shallow water, there's five zombies around you. That's how they kind of get you, okay? Those traps. <laughs> so a power attack with a club, is a knockdown. Has a chance to knock them down. There it is. But that's a huge amount of uh, stamina to do that. Which is why everybody always wants to go set the transsource. You know, heavy early. But again, yes, you want set the transsource for that. But you don't need to go with weapons so early. You need to be building a base and stuff. Lines like this. All right, left jibber jabber. Scrap, scrap, scrap. Don't need that. Hey, and eat this egg. Don't need one of those. Don't need two of those. Scrap. What's this? Learn how to harvest brass from doors. Good, so now when we bang doors down, we have a chance to get brass. That's what I'm doing. It's all red, so it's not better than what I have. See, this is faster, more mobile, okay, but, but not as heavy armor. I don't really have a problem with mobility, so no biggie. All right, don't need eight lead. When I want lead, I'm going to go get thousands of it from my mine. Go ahead and eat that. Scrap that. Now, when you scrap something, like this brass trophy, for instance, you only get 75% of its resource value. So, like, say this, let's say this brass trophy can be scrapped into 100 brass. Right? You scrap that trophy, you get 100 brass to melt in your forge. That's if I melt it in the forge. If I melt it in the forge, as it is, as a brass trophy, I'll get 100 brass from it. But if I scrap it right now, I'll only get 75%. So I'll only get 75 brass, okay? So try not to break down your brass when you're running around because you're losing some of the brass you need to early. Now, later on, we're going to have so much dupe points. We're going to melt them for brass. It's not going to matter. We're going to be overflowing in brass. Okay, but right now, we need every little bit, piece of brass that we can find. See, I'm getting all these tools. Like I say, these things are normally rare. Okay. And that's because of Lucky Looter. All this Lucky Looter. It's not because I picked the perk. And it's not because I got the glasses. It's because I got the glasses and the perk. Okay. 
And I, I made sure not to even start doing POIs until after I had raised my game stage. So a combination of those three things is what's giving me loot. Otherwise it would just be blunderbuss, empty jars, quality one stone axe, alright? Bunches of bunches and bunches of garbage. So we start near the base, so we can just run back over to it. Sell, and then we'll go back out again. Meds, drugs, booze. I've got it all. Not better than what I have. Don't care. I don't care about parts. I just rather loot the stuff. I'm not in a rush. If you're, if, you're, if you're trying to get something specific, you know, you may want to, uh... Thanks for the business. We're to keep up with your tools. I mean, a lot of people like to keep those tools and make the stuff with them. Uh, me, I just prefer to find them on the fly. There's so many POIs for me to explore. I kind of... That's what's fun for me, is to find stuff. Oh, I finally found my quality three steel shovel. Yay! I'm happy now. I found something in the loot. If I make it all, then it's like there's, not, there's no reason to loot. It's not any fun. Uh, plus I have to pick the perk anyway the perk plus half the perk so I don't want to spend my perk points so long shit hoping I get a part for it when I know I'm just going to find it somewhere Once I get all of my stacks, then it's just a matter of hitting this button and updating all the stacks. You see what I mean? Uh, and then I can go back through. Like, why didn't it take that claw when I did that? Oh, this one I don't because I always I keep putting my wood up so I don't hit the button and my resources. Brass. Brass. Lead. I don't care about lead. Okay, because lead, we're gonna we're gonna go mine lead. So little things of lead like that we find. Who cares? Uh, we're gonna when we need lead, we're gonna go and we're gonna mine up a whole shit ton of lead. We're not gonna be worried about seven lead. Brass is the one that we can't mine. You see what I'm saying? So brass is what we want to try and keep. Maybe we just find another anvil for up here. trader. Alright, let's go over here now. Getting rid of these shitty POIs. This time the trader had a lot of crappy POIs. That kind of sucks. Let's eat that. I want to move it up to the next cluster. Which would be these three buildings here. Right here. See? So I'll hit this cluster right here next. So that's where I'll park my bike at, because that's basically my mobile base. I'm trying to teach you this because when you get your car, your truck, that's what you're going to be doing. You, know, you park your truck. In the middle of the cluster of POIs, and you go loot them all, and you come back to your truck and you dump it all off in your truck. Now we're right at base, so I don't really need to do that right here. Uh, but when, once we're, you know, in towns, three kilometers away, that's basically what's happening. Is your truck is your? Uh... Well, didn't we do this POI? Did I forget to mark it down? Yeah, I did this POI. I forgot to to mark it down. It's gone. So this one.
There we go. Yep, that'll be our last. Well, we don't even need another pocket mod because we found those two triple pocket mods. Two triple armor pocket mods. Which means that's now I can use it for heals. That's what heals lacerations. So that's all that there is to this. Do you want a nerd pull all the way up and see if there's something way up there? Uh, doubtful. Doubt there's anything up there. And if there is, what is it? Two empty jars? Alright, let's go there. Plastic, actually. Well, let's get all this plastic. I'll take some plastic. Stack of plastic right about now. Jenny! Ooh, that's helpful. Alright. There's like 200 plastic right here. Once I get my stockpile up, I, I, won't even, I won't be doing this anymore. Right now, my objective is to work my stockpile up. My crafting stockpile. First, I worked up my building stockpile. Now, I'm going to work up my crafting stockpile. Alright. I always have two ways out. So, the entrance is one way, and this is the second way. There's dogs in here. Got more on. Jenny's still chasing me now she's outside. talk about the the knockdown of the club I try to say that's why it's better than a stun baton when it oh it can do the same thing and it it's much harder so it's better than a stun baton uh, uh i was out of stamina and three hits on one zombie you know it's a huge amount of stamina and i just see a guy right here where'd he go there he is 
You know, and if you're playing on the low B settings, then any weapon will do that. <laughs> no, it's half my stamina right there, two hits. Alright, so it's really it's about it's about how many zombies you can take on at once. See what I'm saying? Sure, one or two of them at a time. The club's gonna smack them down real fast. Boom, boom. But then you're gonna be. So you smack the zombie down real fast, but now you're having to walk. Because you're out of stamina. So it's time. If, you, if, if, if you're just trying to be quick, then you're being quick for the kill, but then you're being slow for the run. So you're really not being any faster than anybody else. You know? It's a, not a, a valid art. I'm not bad mouth, you know. The higher level clubs, the baseball bats all tricked out are nice with all the books and everything. All the weapons in this game come out pretty nice in the end. I'm just saying a lot of the arguments they'll make trying to say something's better than something else. It's not it's not the devs did a good really did a really good job with that. It's not that it's better. It's that it's different. Close range makes it hard to do certain tactics. Again, this is where the spear shines. That you can kind of reach, hit her, for instance, much easier. Out of stamina, see? Now I can't swing or run. So if a wolf came around the corner, I can't go anywhere. Yeah, it's nice and hard. You gotta have that stamina, okay? Noticing I'm not having any inventory issues. I'm not even thinking about it. This makes it much more fluid for you, okay? You're not constantly encumbered and crawling around and shit. Oh, 
this is the kitchen I've been in already. One of the kitchens I raided earlier looking for a cook a pot probably. down. That's the book we found. Plus, we want to make pathways to be able to move around. So now we're going to knock down every door for sure. We're opening up our maneuverability and we're getting brass doorknobs and stuff. Zombies. I don't find the glove to be a bad weapon. The one that I don't like, that I think is horrible, is the sledgehammer. I mean, you just, I don't know, it, just, it swings really slow. And yeah, it hits hard. And it has that aerial effect knocked down later on. But it just, it's so close range. And it swings so slow. It's just, ugh. Some people swear by that weapon, though. I mean, you know, I don't know. I, I don't like something that swings so slow that I, uh, I, I don't like how slow, that's too slow for me. Way too slow. Too slow and too close range. You constantly getting hit. on was it then I remember us downstairs <laughs> looking to see if I miss something like a higher a room. Sometimes I, I'll feel I'll miss a room. And I can see it when I come through the roof. Alright. I'm thinking this is some kind of dungeon. It's got a vault door on it. Maybe not. Some more acid that we can use. All right. Oh, they made the thing cement so you can't bang the roof and go down there. To circumvent that vault door. All right then. What am I missing here? How do you get into this building? They don't expect me to bang through that vault door, do they? Must have missed something. Something that goes downstairs that I overlooked. Ah, oh, here we go.
The Night Stalker. 50% sleep damage to sleeping victims at night. Switch schematic. I don't care about schematics. I'll pick the skill. Uh, let's just grab that. Two bullets ain't gonna mean nothing. That don't mean nothing. Alright. Quality six. You can break down these dryers with your wrench. You can break down anything mechanical, okay? Refrigerator, TV, washer, dryer, stove. But it ain't worth it. The only thing worth breaking down, really, is car. See, why did I do that? Is uh, cars and radiators. Okay, cars and the, and the heaters you see to get brass radiators. Everything else that you're breaking down with that wrench uh, is just, you know, junk in your loot. It's not enough, it's one into the other. So you're just wasting time. Alright, so I showed you that, okay? Back to the stomaton. Much safer weapon. It has a medium ranged weapon. So it's not as long as the spear, but it's longer than the blood and flesh hand. And the stun is on any regular attack. And as you work it up, you stun a whole lot more often than this. Looks so like it might be a dungeon down there. Stuff in here that doesn't stack first. Or that's kind of rare that you don't get a whole lot of.
with stuff that's like from a different type of loot table. Like we're not going to loot any cars down inside that dungeon I'm fixed to go into, right? Not going to be any cars down there. So, car related loot. You know what I mean? Yeah, that was nice on plastic. We already have a six. Didn't know about that. All right, good. So I'm pointing this out. Okay, because it's quality six, right? One eighteen. We're gonna repair it. Four forty. It's almost four times its value. See what I'm saying? Uh, so that's why we're getting all that duct tape and stuff. Okay. Talked a lot today, dealt with my farm and stuff, so we didn't do too many POIs, so. But there's no more farm to deal with now, it's all fixed. There's nothing else really to talk about either, so. As I get the different weapons, I'll show them to you. Like I said, you know, mix up your dots, you know, your fire. Fire, your bleed, your stuns, your fries, your electrocutions. Oh, this is a straight up dungeon down here. Alright. What we got going on down here? What is this? It's a fucking little hippie. A little hippie place. I got some major lag. Wow, I can barely fucking move. No, sir. that. I didn't know it would knock the ladder down. <sighs> Alright. Some smart guy, but figure that shit out. Put us a nice little treasure down there. Look at that aloe vera. <laughs> Message received. Wow, that's probably making my video a little choppy looking. Really sluggish in this place. I feel like I've slowed down to half my movement. Half my move speed.
grab that. Let's use this. Drink that. Get rid of that. Two gunpowder ain't gonna do nothing. Alright. Somebody's going nuts over here. Oh, it's you. I was holed up in a corner in the cave over there. What's the shit here? What's going on here? Even the weapon I meant to pick. Thank you, lag out. I was trying to switch to my knife. Can't wait to get out of here. This may be really sluggish. Just have wood panels they're putting their feet on, is that what that is? Set on the couch with their feet. On wood panels. Ooh. Quality six scrap armor. That's the lucky looter. All this brass I'm getting. Let's see about that. Oh, we already had one of those too. Oh, okay. Don't need that, don't need that, don't need that, don't need that, scrap that, scrap those, see, 129, repair it, don't need that, let's turn this into a duct tape, oops, Right now, look at it. 440. Four times almost. Okay, repair kits. That's how we're making lots of money. We turn around and melt and turn into uh, bullets. Oh, this is like a underground lab and shit. So let me get this right. So, in the middle of some innocent town, these guys got a lab. Hidden underground. Hmm. What exactly are they experimenting with down here? Is this where the fucking zombies came from? What's going on down here? They studying shit down here? They studying infected people in this town? Oh shit, this fucker here. That's a kind of weird attack. He hits you automatically, I can't even scroll my fucking weapons.
scroll now? Thank you. Maybe not. Oh, what's well, got to be what it is? We just ended. Somebody shit up with a shovel. You know this, right? Let's go ahead and scrap that. We got going on up here. Uh -huh. Sorry guys. Came down here and I got really like a frame loss, whatever you call it, process and slow down. Whatever the hell you call this. I never I've had frame loss in many games. It was it didn't like like this. I got going on up here. I don't like this. 
so that shit's gonna break. I mean, we fall two stories down. That flashlight showing me to go over here and die. What's going on here? Yeah, there's the song. Oh, okay. Okay. All fatties. I got something for you. Four of them. Today, son. We still got four. What's going on with the song? Let's eat some grub. See that? Can you see that? I want you to see this right here, okay? Oh, it's nighttime. Do you see that little pebble right there? Right there? You see it? That's what's left of that rock I was just now beating on. You see? That gets a lot of people when they're trying to build. And they're like, what the fuck? Why can't I build? And they're trying to lay a block down. That's why. And if that's in the grass, or behind a with a surface behind it that's the same color. You can't see it. So the point is, if you're trying to lay a block, it's redding out like that, you're like, why the fuck can't I lay this block here? Does it make sense to you? Like, in your base? It's because the other day you broke a block for whatever reason. And, uh, it's, it's laying there as a tiny little pebble like that. So just kind of start swinging until you get lucky and smack it if you can't see it. Flying around that corner here in a second. What's fixing to happen to me? Yeah. 
See, even with a full inventory, I'm constantly having to deal with inventory issues. Imagine if you only had half the inventory space. It drives you fucking nuts. That's, that's why I picked what I picked, you understand? There's a reason behind all this. Alright, so use that beer for shits and giggles. Get that jar. Gonna get drunk. Guess I don't need this torch. Let's go ahead and scrap that. Let's grab this cement. Oh, it's gone already? Oh, there it is. I'm drunk. We'll see, I'm drunk. I see everything all hazy. Drunkards running around in the dungeons and the crypts of hell. What's going on over here? Where are you at, bitch? You're up there, aren't you? Main treasure room, I can't even loot it. I'm so full. Alright, what we got here? Shamway. Food. Let's go ahead and just eat it all. Till I see it over here. See? 33, 32, see how fast it's counting? That means I can use it. I'll take some bullets. A fire axe. Piece of shit. Alright. Look at the luck. Look at the luck of this. Scrap those. Oh, we can't. We don't have any room. What's this? Military boots. We need stuff to get done cooking here. She's outside. She must have heard us earlier. Alright. A little couch in a box. Let me have my loot! I want the loot! pocket mod here just so we have some space let's go ahead and scrap that for now into brass so we can loot the other one <coughs> just more plastic no Steel axe. We're in the Steel Age already. We skipped the Stone Age and most of the Iron Age. You understand? We are in the Steel Age. So our loot, I think that must mean we're what, 50? Game stage 50, right? Yeah, 49. Nice. Alright. 
Do you understand now why I'm not worried about going looting at level 1? We're getting much better loot now. You would just now be lucky if you were catching up in level. And we already have our base and everything else too. You understand? I mean, we're, we're packing here. <laughs> Alright. Uh... Okay, let's go ahead and just scrap this one. Grab that. I'm out of space. It's gonna drop on the floor, right? Yep. That's cool. Alrighty then. That dungeon is done. Bike is where? Right about here? She has been beating on that door, ain't she? So the question is, do I want to try and finish that door off and go this way? Will it be quicker than going all the way back to the dungeon and coming up inside the house? It is nighttime. That's too low of a quality. So if you repair that, probably only be like 150. Same thing here. Yeah, see, too low of a quality. I'm gonna repair it if it's a higher tier. Like if this was like this is a tier three. So if this were like quality three or four, yeah, repair it. So it's the higher quality stuff that you want to repair, not necessarily the higher tier. So. Sells, because these were quality sixes. 
That's Stone Age stuff, but it's quality six, you see. carry them. It's always too much. Alright. Three, four. Uh, I thought we got more than that. They got some more in the car. So I'm talking about this flashlight. And you get that on your weapon. Weapon flashlight mod. Surprise I ain't found one yet. See, so you can beam now much wider. Well, I want that on my gun. See what I mean? I just switched my gun and I can go whoosh. 